Bob is a freelance web designer and works four hours a day, plays tennis, goes for a walk and chills the rest of the day. Fred is a freelance web designer and works 10 hours a day, but both earn the same income. How is this possible? In this video, I'm going to walk through how this is not only possible, but also realistic with five different approaches. And it starts with how to make websites smarter and faster. All of this so you can start working on your business and not in it, so you can have more freedom too. So let's get into how to run a business like Bob. Starting with, how do you make websites? Look, most of us are not going to make 50 or 100K custom websites that take months to build. That means we don't need to code websites from scratch. So I'm going to walk through a few solutions to this and address common questions and objections at the end of this video. The first solution is templates or themes. There are insane templates you can buy for under $200 and you can have a professional website ready literally within hours. Theme Forest is a good resource and Invato elements. Another underrated option with free templates is Wix Studio. For other platforms, you need to pay for the templates, but it's all included in your Wix Studio plan and you can choose from portfolio websites, agency websites, business services, e-commerce websites, and a bunch of other templates that are all professionally built and maintained so you don't have to worry about plugin issues or updates and all of that stuff. And that brings me to the next solution, the platform you use. You want to use a platform that is reliable, has good support, affordable, good UX, good security, and all the features that you need. And there are literally hundreds of options available. My preference is Wix Studio for various reasons, but what I really like about it is I can create professional websites from scratch in a clean interface, integrate marketing tools and apps without having to worry about updating a plugin every single week. And if I need any help, I can just quickly jump into the freelance fam community and get the support that I need. There are a lot of other reasons that I mentioned in this video. But my advice is to test a few platforms and see what you prefer. Now moving on to point three. Most of us use Figma to create the wireframe designs exactly how we'd like it. Now rather than copying the code of each element, we can simply use a plugin that will take our design and convert it into a website. And I'm going to show you how to do this before your coffee gets cold. Okay, so let's open up Figma. We can search for the plugin. So it's for Figma to Wix Studio and then we can install it. Next, we need to click get started or set up export. And then we're going to copy our Figma file URL. Then we'll open up Wix Studio, go to tools, import from Figma. Paste our Figma URL, click connect, allow access. And now we are done connecting our file. And now we are halfway there. Before importing the design, we need to import the styles. And to do that, we need to make sure that our frame width is exactly the same as in Wix Studio. So in this case, I need to update it. And now we can go ahead with Start Export. So we want to export the styles. Now we need to select our whole file. And once it's loaded, we click Export Styles. Now we open up Wix Studio. If you need to click Refresh Import, just do that. And then we can click Apply Styles to Site. Now that we've done the styles, we need to import the actual design file. So the next thing we need to do is click on our file again and then go export frame. We can see that the preview looks good and then we would click export frame. Now we go to Wix Studio to import the frame. So now we can see the preview, the preview looks good. Let's click add to site. And now we can see it working its magic. So we'll come back to it when it's ready. Should take less than a minute. Okay, so that actually took about a minute and a half because it was quite a complex design. And I must say, the outcome is actually really good. So this is the original file. Didn't have a lot of all the information that I usually put in there. But yeah, the outcome is, I would say, really good, uh, quite impressive. Um, I think maybe a few small things in terms of layout could be improved, uh, like for example, uh, this section sh could be aligned a bit better. But yeah, uh, I really think it's it's really good. I think the one thing I do want to test is responsiveness. Okay. Okay. Already already responsive. Okay. That's okay. So, th so, so this isn't responsive. So what I would do is you can actually click on this. Like let's say this section, for example, click responsive AI, generate and it'll work its magic so that it's responsive on all devices for this section and you would just do it section by section. 
Alrighty, that was it. And that literally took less than a minute for the responsive AI and it's looking very, very clean. The one thing I should mention is menus will not be dynamic. It won't be functional. You will just need to code this. This is almost like static and that's pretty easy. You can just add a menu from the panel section here. The point of this is it saves us hours to make our figment design look good as a website. And I'll add the link in the description if you're interested to learn more about the Figma to Wix Studio plugin. Next one is reusing components. Depending on the platform you use, you should always reuse components and assets where you can. So if you're creating a 3 tier pricing page with a toggle for one client, then simply save that as a section or reusable component for another client. You can also start building websites with existing components and wireframes. They are already mobile responsive, so literally just grab what you like, paste it, put it where you want and edit it how you like it. This literally saves so much time. A quick and final component approach for those who enjoy coding, Tailwind is amazing. And Shuffle Dev is good to build with existing frameworks. Now I showed you how to make websites fast, but I want to discuss common questions and objections. A common question I get is, does making websites faster mean I need to charge less. So let me give you a scenario. Let's say you're painting a room and you get two quotes. Both are $3,000. The one guy uses a paintbrush and it takes him one full day. The other guy uses a spray painting machine and it takes him one hour. So the question is, should the guy using a spray painting machine be penalized? Did the client not pay for the outcome? It's exactly the same principle. The tools don't matter, but the outcome does. So it's very important that you sell the outcome and not the tool. Another popular question I get is, do I need to tell the client I'm using a template? And I'm going to say something, but let me explain why. The answer is no. You don't need to tell your client that you're using a template. Let me ask you a question. Why does it matter? If someone is cutting your lawn, would you get upset with them if they use a diesel powered lawn mower that gets the job done in one hour versus someone using a manual one and it takes them 10 hours? What about taxes? With the right software, it can literally take accountants a few minutes to see how much you owe the government. Should they only invoice you for five minutes of their time for working smarter? Do you tell the client if you're going to use a component or a plugin that will save you five hours? So here is the bottom line. The client is paying for the outcome, not the details of how the outcome is done. There are plugins, templates, apps, components, and software for everything these days. And it's only going to improve with AI in the coming years. So if you are charging based on your time, you will be competing in a race to the bottom. Charge based on value and outcome, and you won't even need to worry about all of these details. As a bonus way to make websites fast, when you get to a tipping point in your business, consider outsourcing tasks. It's another great way to stop trading time for money. And in my perspective, it's the only way to scale and have more freedom so you're not the bottleneck of your business. And that is how you make websites fast. It's a big topic, but let me know if you have any questions or suggestions in the comments below. And also, if you're not in Freelance Fam yet, it's a free community for freelance web designers and developers wanting to start and scale their freelancing business. You can join us at freelancefam.com. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.